Hi, is your heart doing well, or is there a little problem? Today, we will discuss the seven signs that show your heart isn't 100%. We are going to divide this video into parts. The first part concerns the seven things you can look for to tell if something is wrong with your heart. In the second part, we'll go over the seven signs. It will be a complete video, so stick around until the end. What are the seven signs you should be aware of that they may be showing us that you have a heart problem? 7. Frank's sign. A small sign in the ear can show that the person has a blockage in the coronary or carotid arteries. Back in the 1970s, Dr. Sanders Frank noticed that many of his patients with angina chest pain had a diagonal crease in their ears, which he called Frank's sign. But 70 people have it, and the younger the person, the more likely it is to be a sign of coronary obstruction or carotid. Only 40 out of 100 people with heart disease that causes blockages will have this sign, so you shouldn't be happy if your ear is flat. 6. Loss of hair. On the thighs, loss of hair, first on your shins and then on your thighs, could be a sign that you have peripheral artery disease, that is, blockage in the arteries of the legs, and since atherosclerosis, is not a localized disease, but a diffuse one if you have one blockage in the arteries of the legs could be that you have blockages and other arteries in the body, including the coronary arteries, which supply your heart. Most people who have peripheral artery disease are only aware that there is something wrong when atherosclerosis is advanced. And why do they lose hair? Because hair follicles need nutrients to their fur to grow, so they need good circulation. 5. Xanthalasma you must have looked into someone's eyes and noticed a yellow plaque on the eyelid called xanthalasma. It doesn't hurt. It's usually just a cosmetic problem, but it grows slowly. Xanthalasma is the most common type of xanthomas, cholesterol deposits in the skin. It is more common in middle-aged women and is mainly located in the inner corner of the eye, most often on the upper eyelid. About 50% of patients who develop xanthalasma have dyslipidemia, high cholesterol, or high triglycerides. And look how interestingly, only 1% of people with high cholesterol have xanthalasma. Still, researchers have found that having xanthalasmas increases the risk of having heart disease, heart attack, and stroke. 4. Arch or senile halo. It is more common in older patients. It is caused by cholesterol deposits at the edge of the cornea and looks white or gray, which is visible above and below the outer part of the cornea. In some people, this halo can take over the iris, the colored part of the eye person. You can notice that before, you had a dark eye, and now it's getting lighter. The senile arch does not affect vision and does not need treatment. Still, there is a caveat if the senile halo occurs in younger people before age 45, may be signaling that the person has severe dyslipidemia. 3. Cyanosis. Cyanosis is that bluish coloration or bruising on the skin. Could it be that it's too cold and it's purple? It can, but it could also mean you have a heart or lung problem. If an area of your skin appears blue cyanotic or purplish when you are hot, this could be a sign that this part of your body is not getting blood oxygenated. 2. Ulcers. Those sores that don't heal on your legs or feet could indicate poor circulation. It may be due to arterial insufficiency or some obstruction in the artery that irrigates that area. Usually, people won't be able to walk far or fast due to their legs becoming more tired and sore or even having cramps most of the time. These ulcers are painful. 1. Swelling in the legs, ankles, and feet. This swelling or edema in the legs and ankles can be caused by a weak heart or swelling that can cause fluid to accumulate in the body. You may feel that your shoes no longer fit a tighter shoe. The ankle becomes fluffy, looking like that baking bread. When you press, it does that dimple that we call a locker sign. You are more likely to notice the swelling in your legs and ankles later in the day because gravity increases the pressure in the leg veins. And if you lie down and raise your legs, it also reduces swelling. What are the seven symptoms that you are experiencing that you may have a problem with your heart? 7. Shortness of breath. You should be aware of the shortness of breath or dyspnea, especially when you try hard. 
It's extreme fatigue to efforts. You get more breathless with everything you do. It could be a heart problem. 6. Persistent cough. Persistent cough with white or pink flame means they have fluid in fans and therit would help. If you didn't important, don't let that cough look for a doctor. 5. Shortness of breath. When you go to bed, the person starts to put more pillows to see if you sleep better and over. You cannot lie down. You have to sleep in a chair. You can also wake up suffocated during the night, which we call paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea. This speaks volumes in favor of a heart problem. 4. Generalized weakness. Feeling tired all the time and having difficulty in everyday activities such as shopping, climbing stairs, carrying groceries, or walking is because the heart cannot pump enough blood to meet the needs of the muscles and tissues of the body. 3. Nocturia. When you wake up, you have to wake up many times at night to pee. This is called nocturia. There are many causes, but if the heart is not pumping properly at night, this excess liquid needs to be eliminated. 2. Intermittent claudication. When you walk a few meters, you feel pain in the calf, in the calf of the leg. It's not pain time, is when you make an effort, and when you stop. It gets better. This symptom means that the blood is not getting there the way it should. When you stop, it gets better. When you walk, it hurts again. 1. Chest pain. If you have chest pain, you first have to think of a heart problem. You may not think it's muscle gas or anything simpler, but could it be? You can but you always have to exclude the most serious thing. Heart pain is chest pain or discomfort lasting more than a few minutes. It can come and go. It can be like pressure, heaviness, tightness, or burning. It can radiate to the left arm, to the neck, to the back, to the jaw, in the stomach, both elbows, and may or may not have sweating, pallor, nausea, and dizziness. Associated if you have these symptoms, you should see a doctor as soon as possible and now how to prevent you from having the heart problem. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and also subscribe to our channel for more interesting content.